I'm Bianca Ferrar. I'm Steve Kometko. This is E! News Daily. Four cable channels are volunteering to rate movies and programs according to content. Advisory labels on language, violence, and sexual content are coming to HBO and Cinemax beginning this Friday. Showtime and the Movie Channel will follow suit later this month. The ratings come in response to parents' concerns about what their children see on cable. Defending himself against the filing of a sexual harassment lawsuit proved too much for Bob Barker. The popular game show host broke down while denying detailed allegations from his former co-star, Greg Agnew, has the latest. As God is my witness, I have never forced her to do one thing that she did not want to do, ever. It was an emotional Bob Barker who, for the second time in two weeks, defended himself against sexual harassment allegations made by Diane Parkinson, a model from his game show. As he dismissed her claims of forced sex and talked about support from his TV network, Barker had to pause to compose himself. The room erupted in applause. I got a tear, tear in my eye. In the lawsuit alleging employment discrimination, deprivation of civil rights, and emotional distress, Parkinson describes in detail their private moments, adding she demanded he submit to an immediate AIDS test to alleviate any fears she might have about the HIV virus. Barker denied Parkinson's claim that she filed a police report stating he had sexually assaulted her. I can assure you that I have not received any written communication from the police department. Barker claims Parkinson wanted $8 million not to file the suit. Her attorney was not available for comment. Coming up on E! News Daily, the pop music world is choosing sides in the battle between Pearl Jam and Ticketmaster. And strap on those seatbelts. Speed is just around the corner. Stay with us. The Justice Department is investigating business practices of the nationwide ticket agency Ticketmaster at issue whether the company has a monopoly over ticket distribution. The probe follows a complaint by the popular alternative rock band Pearl Jam. East David Adelson is in our newsroom with more. David. Thanks, Bianca. A Justice Department subpoena calls on Ticketmaster to hand over various records and contracts. Last month, lawyers for Pearl Jam filed a complaint with the Justice Department against Ticketmaster. The charges alleged the agency exercises a monopoly over ticket distribution and use that influence to prevent tour bookers from booking the band at the reduced ticket price of $18. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Thanks, David. Speed, one of the summer's most prominent action films, premiered in Los Angeles Tuesday night. Unlike most films of its kind, Speed is being well-received by critics. And the co-stars aren't Mr. Universe lookalikes. The unlikely action heroes, Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Some famous moviegoers stop by to take a fast look at Speed. Among them, actors Jasmine Guy, comedian David Spade, and Billy Idol, who contributed to the score. But the cast's main focus seemed to be sorting out their newfound roles as action heroes. You don't have an extended amount of time to establish a character or to, you know, talk your way into an emotion. It has to be done in a very short period of time. This is much better. Everybody hold on! Keanu Reeves plays an L.A. cop trying to hunt down terrorist Dennis Hopper, a former cop who blows up everything in sight. Reeves says the thrill of the movie is getting out of impossible situations. The thrill of death, mortality, not mortality, death, no, nah, yeah. Death, where you're on the edge, that thrill of, I'm okay, but there's this. One of the film's chief selling points is a macho-sized dose of spectacular stunts. Well, jumping that 60-foot span of bridge is sensational. I like coming off that freeway, too, and taking out all those signs. And speed director John DeBont calls co-star Keanu Reeves perfect for the part. He's like a Cary Grant type actor who is like romantic, is beautiful to look at, sexy, he's very strong, very vulnerable. Are you in short? Yeah, why? Go, go! 
Speed rolls into theaters nationwide Friday. You know, Sandra Bullock had to actually learn how to drive those buses for the movie. They were next to me on the L.A. freeway. I just know they were. <laughs> I've seen them. Just ahead on E! News Daily, Joe Camel and Barney the Dinosaur are celebrating. And actress Morgan Brittany finds fulfillment in the Valley of the Dolls. The reason why, when we come back. Singer-songwriter Tori Amos has made her mark on music with a powerful voice and haunting lyrics. Now she's in the spotlight for her efforts to help rape victims. And a man on my Amos received the 1994 Visionary Award from the D.C. Rape Crisis Center in Washington. The honor strikes a personal chord for the singer. In her song, Me and a Gun, Amos sings of her own sexual assault at age 16. Amos has received hundreds of letters from many fans who lived through the same traumatic experience. Amos says she accepted the award with mixed emotions. You could call them musical odd couples, a diverse group of musicians whose paths rarely cross gathered recently for one day. You don't often see Luther Vandross and Meatloaf perform live on the same stage. 31 acts, including Tony, 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 and Aaron Neville, perform for a crowd of nearly 20,000. You get to perform for people that would probably never see you. What, you know, that, you know, Meatloaf, eh, I don't know. You know, so you come here and you get to do that. The main thing when you do something, when you give something back to the community, give something back to the world in general. And that's what it's all about, being, a, being an artist for me in terms of doing something like this. Boston radio station KISS 108 organized the annual concert. Proceeds went to children's charities. I was at the concert. It was really incredible to see these performers on the same stage. You don't often get to see that. That's nice for you. Yeah, it was nice. So to come on E! News Daily, kudos for some of your favorite television commercials. And a visit with Jack, Billy, and the rest of the city slickers at their Atlanta premiere. That energetic story and more next. Viewers may not know it, but they've chosen the winners of the annual FU Awards, honoring the best commercials of the year. Introducing Cool Mint Blistering with an exhilarating Cool Minty Taste. Among winning ads, a Tarzan spoof promoting mouthwash. Another trophy went to a snorkeling dog pitching pet products. How did the American Marketing Association pick the winners? Simple. They relied on sales figures, which means viewers voted with their wallets. Dogs hate it. Well, my teacher doesn't have to walk home to this neighborhood. And maybe the dealers are scared of the police. But they're not scared of me. This somber ad won honors for the Partnership for a Drug-Free America. In it, a boy races a long way home from school to avoid exposure to gangs and drugs. The marquee shone brightly and the red carpet was rolled out for former President Jimmy Carter. Ted Turner and Jane Fonda. Co-stars Jack Palance and Crystal took the opportunity to show off what may be their box office strengths. Not bad for an old man. Not bad. For me or him? Yeah, I was all right. Crystal and Atlanta go way back to the early 50s when he'd visit relatives and perform stand-up. The single best place I ever worked was a place called the Great Southeast Music Hall. Um, I loved that place. I, I played it five or six times, so I have very fond feelings for this town. The premiere was a benefit for President Carter's Atlanta project, which provides low-income housing. And as God is my witness, City Slickers 2 opens in theaters Friday. On the next E! News Daily, if you think Morgan Britney's dolls are interesting, take a look at these dolls, modeled after celebrities. We'll meet a woman who collects everything from a Madonna doll to a Sylvester Stallone model. From all of us here at E! News Daily, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm Steve Kometko. Stay with us. There's much more to come on E! The Entertainment News and Information Authority. I'm Bianca Ferrar.